The Textures Wildflowers A5 stamp set is built to create beautiful silhouettes with any coloured background you like. Now you can add colour to the stamps if you pr would prefer, but I've designed them to make really, really quick and easy cards just by simply using black ink for a really fun but still dimensional look. So for, this is a brand new stamp for me, so first time I'm using it, so I'm just prepping it with a pencil eraser before adding my black ink that just takes any coating off the stamp. Now I want this to be a really solid black image so after impressing it I am going to add a second layer of ink and then stamp over again. That's where my stamping platform comes in really handy just to make sure I get that in exactly the same place. I'm actually using um, just a piece of kitchen towel here to rub away the excess ink when I finished. Not a new tool for pressing detail down or anything like that. Then I'm going to layer up the next stamp, and this is the dandelion one, so slightly smaller, but they fit side by side so well. Again, prepping this, brand new stamp, so take any coating off of there, and then just add the black ink again. So I'm using the A5 paper pack under here, so the green and blue in the background. That is part of the Textures Wildflower collection as well. So you notice I did two coats of ink on that detail too. So we've got all the lovely uh, dandelion um, heads just sort of floating in the air there in the wind. Then I've added some of the bumblebees around. Again, just going to do these with black. So everything's black silhouettes. It's really, really quick and simple. Honestly, if you want to batch make cards, these are going to be um, super, super quick for you. So no time at all. So once I've done that, I'm going to cut my A5 paper down to size. I'd do, rather do this after than before, just in case I get it a little bit wrong. Um, and then I choose a sentiment. So I've then come to the sentiments, uh, another one of the stamp sets from the Wildflowers collection. Everything's available on Craft Stash. I've chosen my sentiment there, capture the moment. It kind of uh, seems fitting with the um, dandelions there floating in the breeze because I used to run around as a child and try to catch those. So yeah, capture the moment. Um, I'm going to heat emboss this onto black cardstock so it really stands out. So I'm just going to use a white embossing powder and a clear ink to stamp this onto the black smooth black cardstock this is again available at craft stash and then i'm going to heat set it so making sure i use an anti-static pad as well first of all just to remove any greasy marks or any static from the paper because that white otherwise the white powder will stick and show up where you don't want it to so i'm just heat setting this you get it nice and glossy then it really stands out better as well once it's all melted um, and then I'll trim this down to size. So it's just a, almost a little bit like one of the label makers that you've printed off. I love this effect of the white on the black. Just using my uh, Creative Craft Products trimmer to get a nice fine detail line. You can trim that with a banner end if you wanted to with some scissors, but I'm quite happy with keeping this simple. The idea is the entire card is quite simple but effective. Um, and that's what I love about silhouettes. So this really has been a super quick card. Obviously I'd mount this onto a card base, but there you go. You can recreate this with any color background you like, whether it be rainbow or something else.